don't try hybrid autopilot. I always thought I hated hybrid Active Directory, but it turns out I actually hated hybrid autopilot. Let me explain. Hybrid Azure AD Join, or Hybrid Enter ID Join, as it's probably now called, is a means to give your on-premises AD devices the benefit of cloud-enabled features such as single sign-on to Microsoft 365, Intune compliance checking, and, and stuff like that. It's a good idea. If you've got AD Join devices, make them hybrid using Azure AD Connect. Do that. That's a good idea. Now, sometimes you need to build new devices, right? And now your devices are in the cloud, you might be thinking, oh, Autopilot is where we need to be, that sounds like our next step. And that might be the case. Windows Autopilot is great for building Azure AD devices from anywhere. Thousands of organizations use it every day. But Windows Autopilot is only great when you use it to build cloud-only Azure AD devices. It's not great when you use it for hybrid Azure AD joint devices. In fact, it's pretty terrible at it because that's entirely not what it was designed to do. And the technicalities and logistics of getting a device to join your domain from the internet are not simple at all. Yes, it can work. And many organizations have got it working. Some of them even have it working well, but that doesn't mean it's a good idea. And don't just take it from me. Over 70% of the people who responded to my poll said that if you want to have a successful Intune deployment, don't try hybrid autopilot. Only use hybrid autopilot if you're building cloud-only Azure AD joined or Enter ID joined devices. So what should you do if you need to build the good old hybrid Azure AD joined devices? Well, do whatever you currently do. MDT, Config Manager, Pixie into wherever. Use a USB stick. I really don't mind, but please don't try hybrid autopilot. 